the startup ecosystem has definitely matured in Uganda in the last five years. Um, I think we can see this in the number of, of Ugandan startups that are raising funds at the pre-seed and seed stage. Um, the number of Ugandan startups that are joining these really big international accelerator programs. And I think most interestingly, the number of local Ugandan investors that are willing to take a chance on investing early in Ugandan startups. We've been able to achieve some pretty impressive milestones in the last five years. Um, we've hosted over 100 uh, digital training sessions across three countries. Um, we've, uh, we've grown our network of startups to 150 startups in our network and the startups in our network have gone on to raise over a million dollars in funding. The biggest challenge that we've had is really when we're working with entrepreneurs to get them to commit to their mission and vision. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure on young entrepreneurs particularly to grow very quickly and for that reason you often find there's a only a very few opportunities and a lot of entrepreneurs competing for the same things. Um, so this can often lead to um, actually slower growth and mission drift as they're trying to essentially fit themselves into the uh, few opportunities available. I think the biggest benefit with, with the partnership with Startup Uganda and UNCDF is really enabling these large um, development bodies like UNCDF to be able to get that first-hand insight into what's happening in our sector. They're able to understand who the major players are, what the key trends are, and what they can be doing to really help drive that growth.